Christmas caravan. The Christmas caravan. Simon and his mother lived in a caravan park on the outskirts of town. Some of the town's people said the park was untidy and should be closed down. But for Simon and his mother, it was better than the big block of flats that they had lived in before. We're so lucky to have this place, his mother would say. The caravan may be small, but it's great to have our own home. <coughs> One hot December afternoon, Simon happened to see a competition entry from in the local newspaper. Look, Mum, he said, we could enter this Christmas competition for the best decorated house, and the prize is a holiday at the beach, staying at the mo at a motel. You always say you you wish we could have a holiday by the sea. His mother hesitated. That's true, she said, and I think it's a great idea. The problem is I can't afford to buy fancy Christmas ornaments or string of coloured lights. Simon thought for a while, then his face brightened. We'll make our own decorations, he said. With a bag in each hand, Simon hunted round the caravan park. Collecting junk, he bought several loads back to the caravan. Then, cleaning them in, in the yard and sorted the different items into piles. Now we need a can opener and scissors, he said to his mother. Together they threaded cans of many colours and onto lengths of string. They turned the plastic bottles into <coughs> bells and used them to decorate the outside of the caravan. Then they stood back to admire their work. Simon looked thoughtful. It's beautiful, he said. Look, does it look Christmassy enough? I think we need one more thing. He straightened out some crumpled sheets of tinfoil and made big silver star. His mother hung it from the area of the caravan roof. That's just what was missing, she said. A map in the local newspaper showed the address of all the entries in the competition as Christmas drew near. Crowds of people came out at night to marvel the, at the many houses fested with twinkling coloured lights. There were scenes of Santa Claus with his sleigh and reindeer prancing high across the rooftop. Richly decorated Christmas tree stood in the front windows surrounding by piles of presents. Although the address was listed with the others in the newspaper, no one from the town came to look at the decorated caravan. Some of their neighbours in the park just stood, stared and whispered to one another, but others told Simon the caravan looked as colourful as a Christmas card. However, everyone agreed that the cart looked a lot tidier now that the rubbish had been picked up. They said they they would try to keep it that way. The mayor and two of his councillors were judging the competition. On the night there was they were going to choose the winner. Simon waited all evening for the judges to arrive. They did not come. Perhaps they got lost, his mother said, as he comforted him and tucked him into his bunk.
Next morning, she telephoned the mayor. Our caravan was on the address list, she told him. Couldn't you find it? Well, uh, uh, that wasn't exactly the problem, replied the mayor. There were so many magnificent decorated houses to choose from, it was getting late, and after all, a caravan isn't really a house. This is... This caravan is our home, Simon's <coughs> mother replied, and it was my son's idea to decorate it. He's very disappointed that you didn't that, that you and the other judges didn't come to see it. That evening a shiny black car drove slowly into the caravan park. Simon jumped up and down with excitement as the mayor mumbled words like very different, most unusual. The mayor asked Simon about the decorations and listed, listened carefully as he explained about making them. Then the mayor talked with the councillors and they looked for a long time at the Silver Star that hung above the caravan. Finally the mayor cleared his throat and said, we have already chosen the best decorated house. That was decided last night, but we think your caravan deserves a special award. I have a friend who runs a camping ground by this beach. How would you like to stay there for a week at my expense? in your caravan. Simon was so excited when the time came to go on holiday that he didn't even mind taking down the decorations. He put them in the new recycling bins that had been placed in each corner of the caravan park. The neighbours in the park had a collection and bought Simon a boogie board. The councillors gave gifts of beach towels and sunscreen. Everyone cheered and waved as Simon and his mother set off on their journey to the beach with the caravan tow behind the mayor's car. I wish we didn't have to leave they had a wonderful holiday surfing and swimming and enjoying the sunshine. Simon's mother said it really was a dream come true. I wish we didn't have to leave, Simon's mother said when they when the week was nearly over. He loved the beach and had made some new friends who went to the local school. They s His mother smiled. Well, I've been offered a job at the beach door. If we want to, we can stay here for as long as we like. They sent a letter to the mayor to thank him and tell him the good news. In time, the caravan became too small for Simon and his mother, and they moved into a cottage beside the store. They kept the caravan on the, the front lawn when friends from town came to stay. Every Christmas, Simon decorated it with shells, adding more and more every each year, and people came to look at it all year long.